So moments of Britney's memoir that made me dislike Justin Timberlake even more than I already did because I never liked him. Okay, this is from page 77. Spoiler alert if you haven't read the book. But this is when she is, you know, taking the abortion pill and she's on the floor. She has taken it. She's crying on in pain, bathroom floor. At some point, he thought maybe music would help. So he got his guitar and he lay there with me strumming it. I kept crying and sobbing until it was all over. Like, Justin, like, are you, I know you're, I mean, they're both young, but like, you're still an adult, okay? Did you really think, like, seeing her in pain, like, you freaking playing your freaking guitar, like, oh, this is the best time to put on a show right now. No, your girlfriend is in pain because of something that you wanted, you, and now you're being more selfish instead of trying to actually comfort her. Oh, let me put on the show, like, God, are you okay, Justin? Are you okay? And this is from page 80. This is after he broke up with her by text. And, you know, she's upset. She's trying to recover from the breakup in Louisiana. And this guy, okay, freaking, you know, he he flew to, out, out to Louisiana to visit me. He brought me a long letter he'd written and framed. Like, <laughs> who does that? Who, like, thinks their letter is so great after, you know, their letter to their ex that they broke up with through text? Like, what? What goes through your head? Like, my letter is so good. Let me frame it for her. Like, I know I just broke her heart, but she's going to want to, you know, have this frame, maybe put it in a museum, hang it up. Like, who thinks like that? Oh, yeah, someone freaking selfish and arrogant and narcissistic like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> and, you know, she actually still has it. Um, she said, I still have it under my bed, but, you know, she... She was obviously very hurt by that breakup, but like, just like, who does that? That's <laughs> like, I've written letters to exes, but they're mostly exes who broke my heart. They're not the ones I broke up with. And like, I never thought of framing my letters. Like, <laughs> it's more like I wrote it out, but I never sent it type of thing just to kind of get over the guy. But like, I don't know any letter I've ever sent anyone. I've never wanted to frame it. Like, because I thought it was so like, why would you frame it again? Especially after you broke her heart like why would you frame it <laughs> thank you Brittany for sharing this because it just gives me more reasons to not like Justin because I never liked him I had always had got arrogant vibes from him and this just proved that he really is and just not a great person so I'm very happy that I saw that from when I was 12 years old <laughs> but Brittany thank you for sharing this thank you for sharing your truth but wow like can someone tell me in the comments, has anyone done this to you? Like you're going through pain and they decide to put on a concert or, you know, they break up with you and they like decide to write you a breakup letter or something or apology letter or whatever. I don't know what kind of letter this was. And they wrote you a letter and they framed their own letter. Like, let me know. Let me know if you've experienced that because the type of person who does that, like, obviously they only care about themselves.